Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Carl, and today I'm going to be doing another collection update, but not on figures. We're going to be going to the games. So let's just move on straight away. First of all, we got Sonic Colors, you know, uh, released in 2010. Great game, revitalized the series, really. First good game in a few years. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sonic and the Black Knight. Good game in the storybook series. Not that many good games in there. Seems there's only two. But, uh, yeah, a uh, great game actually uses nunchucks, no motion control, really. Mario and Sonic at the... Uh, 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 Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. Reason why I have it, it is golden case, and I'm British, I love London. So sue me. Uh, next one we go PC. Um, Sonic Mega Collection Plus, you know, it features every single... Sonic Genesis game, nearly, uh, not include, actually no it does, it includes every single Sonic game on the Genesis, or Mega Drive, whichever one you want to say, um, Sonic 3D, aka Sonic 3D Blast, it sucks, the game sucks, PC sucks, to be honest, like, what it was made for, not gaming PC, or PC gaming, I love PC gaming, uh, Sonic Adventure DX, right there, you know, uh, alright, not good for the PC though. Same with Sonic R, it's alright, but uh, not good for the um, not good for the PC. Uh, Sonic and Knuckles collection featuring Sonic and Knuckles, uh, Sonic Three and Sonic Three and Knuckles. So yeah, uh, it's pr pretty self-explanatory. But uh, yeah, a uh, really good game. It actually allowed me to explore the Sonic gaming community with these ga that game, and made me love it. So yeah, Sonic Riders not good for a PC. Fifteenth uh, anniversary. Uh, you already know how that went. Sonic Unleashed uh, for the Xbox 360, probably one of the best games I played, next to Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations, which I sadly do not own anymore. Uh, R.I.P. Uh, so yeah, uh, great game. Bad nighttime levels, great daytime levels. Sonic Boom, I'm not going to explain because it absolutely sucks. And the only reason I got it was because it was on low price, aka £12, and it's a Sonic game and I never played it. Sonic Mega Collection Plus, uh, I've already explained, but it's in a platinum case for the PS2. Sonic Gems Collection features Sonic CD, Sonic the Fighters, and Sonic R. Love the games, apart from Sonic the Fighters' SBO stage. That can go to hell. Sonic Riders, better game for the P PS2. Sadly, it gets broken easy. I uh, don't know why, it just does. Sonic Heroes, love the team pl uh, team play mechanic of uh, three characters, aka Team Sonic, Team Dark, Team Rose, and Team Chaotix. Team Sonic featuring Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Team Dark featuring... Shadow, Rouge, E, 1, 2, 3, Omega. Um, Team Chaotix featuring Vector, Charmy, Espio. And Team Rose with Amy, Rose, <coughs> Cream the Rabbit, and Big the Cat. Next one we go up to is Shadow, Shadow the Hedgehog for the PS2. Not too bad, uh, to be honest, I do like the game. Just a bit too long for my liking. Uh, next one we have is Sonic Riders for the Xbox. Better on the Xbox than the PS2 and PC combined. Uh, that's all I can say. Shadow of the Hedgehog for the Xbox. Better than the PS2. I don't know why it really is. Sonic Mega Collection is just a smaller version of this gem right here. Oh, wait, sorry, wrong one. This gem right here. But it's in a uh, player's choice. Uh, box and it's made by Atari as well. Um, next one we have uh, Sonic Heroes. You know it's better for the GameCube because everything's better for the GameCube. Next one Shadow the Hedgehog again. I have so many copies. So that's one, uh, two. Uh, yeah. Hang on. I thought I had three. Yeah. One, two, three. I can count. Yay. Uh, good game, better for the GameCube. Uh, next one we have uh, Sonic Adventure DX, better for the GameCube because, you know, PC kind of doesn't work with Sonic. Uh, features uh, Metal Sonic as a 
hidden character, spoilers by the way, um, features Metal Sonic as a playable character, unless, until you get, um, 180 emblems, is it? Oh, well, moving on, uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, my favourite game in the whole Sonic franchise-ish. Sonic Generations is really my favourite, but this is more my favourite, because, you know, look at the sh- hang on. Look at the shoes! Look at the shoes, man! Soap shoes! I'm probably gonna get sued for this, but I don't really care. Uh, next one, we have a DS Sonic Classic Collection. You know, it's one of the more great games, because it has another port of Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles, including Sonic 3 and Knuckles and Son uh, Knuckles in Sonic 2. Let's have a look at the cartridge. It's right there, and it's tiny, and I love it. And that's going to sound wrong on the internet, and I'm probably going to be made fun of. Next DS game, uh, Sonic Rush. Good game. Classic 2D. Modern console. That's, that. that's what I can say about that. Um, Sonic Rush Adventure. Same as that, just more adventurer. Right, next one. Um, <clears throat> another DS game right here. Hang on. It's just... Uh, oh, oh, oh. There. Forget the DS for a minute. I forgot one game for the PS3. Sonic 06. You know what this is? It's a pile of rubbish. Let's just... It's a pile of rubbish, but it's a Sonic game, so I have no choice to love it. Or else the fan base kills me. Unless it's about Sonic Ocean. I mean, you can tell I don't like the game because look at the condition in the box. I mean, that's broken. Like, properly broken. Uh, Alright, so we've got DS game number one, DS game number two, three. Well, maybe you can count this as more... Oh, hello. Uh, maybe you can count that as more of a six than a uh, one, but still. Uh... Back to the DS. Sonic Chronicles Dark Brotherhood. Wow, it's a Sonic RPG, everyone. Everybody loves this. I'm joking. It absolutely sucks. To me. My own personal opinion. Don't criticise it, Sonic fanbase. 3DS game. Sonic Lost World. My reason for liking it. Because it's the first 3D Sonic game on the 3DS. Yeah. Looks cool, looks cool, looks cool. Controls like crap. Really? Yes. Okay, now we get on to the PSP with Sonic Rivals 1. Great game, love it. Sonic Rivals 2, improved on characters and story. Absolutely adore this game. Uh, now we quickly move on to Sega Superstars. What is it? It's an iToy game. Hooray! Next ones, we have Game Boy Advance games. Sonic Advance, really good. It's like Sonic Rush, like Sonic Rivals, but n uh, more fast-paced and platformy. Uh, next one, Sonic Genesis can go with the other 15th anniversary games apart from Sonic Riders and go to hell. Oh, balls, I kind of need that. Oh, no. Hang on. Oh, I can find it later. Last one, I think, for the Game Boy Advance. Sonic Advance 3. Yay! This game improves on so many levels. Where is the other game? I don't know, but it's Sonic Battle, guys. I know that for a fact. Anyway, guys, that has been my video game collection. That is all of that for Sonic. And, yeah, I shall see you guys in a bit. I normally say I've got all Sonic games, but I've had to sell some. So I shall see you in a bit. Peace.